My God, thank you, Pastor. I want to ask a question this morning as a topic. Do you have a place for God to dwell? Mm-hmm. Right. Every believer needs to have a place where they interact with God. Yeah. You've heard me say over and over and over again, Bible class on Wednesday knows that I say that prayer is talking to God. And we had a practice one evening, oh, I guess it's been over a year or so ago, and a couple of our members were so excited, they went home and had restless nights because they never prayed out loud before. And all they did was just talk about what was going on in their heart, not and I too when I left there I just felt like if the rapture had come at that moment oh we have been ready so we all need to have that place where we connect with God himself where you know that you will find what you need that is the place when you go when, as the songwriter says, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock, and you go there, and you know that what you stand in need of, you're going to find in that place. Understand that when you go there, that place becomes holy. Yeah. Yeah. It is the place you always draw strength. Hmm. Yes, sir. You always draw peace. And I'd like to also add that you can draw confidence as well. We have places that we set aside for public or corporate worship. And that's fine. And here we are today at a set time, at a set place for corporate worship. Now, the key to that is we have to look at the book of Acts and see what happened on the day of Pentecost. Mm. All right. And the key is they were on one accord, and they were in one place. There were 120, and they didn't come with 120 agenda. They didn't come with 120 ideas of what should happen, but when they focused on doing what God said through Jesus, and that was the way until that which promised to come, and they focused 
to go. That is the place of corporate worship. That is the place that we come together to interact with God. You see, what happens is you can have a soldier, but one soldier is not an army. You take a group of folks in the same uniform where nobody stands out. They might have different looking faces. They might be tall or short. Some might be wider or thinner than others. But when you look at the unit, what you see is the same unit dressed in the same uniform for one purpose and one mind. That is to defend and protect. Right. When the people of God come together in the house of God, awesome. we might have on different clothes. Some might be tall, some might be short, some might be wide, some might be thin, some might be young, and some might be old. But if you came for the express purpose of lifting up, right. magnifying, yeah. and defending the cause of Christ, yeah. then you are there for worship. And the Lord will meet you there. Everyone should also have some time alone with God. Oh, my God. Hmm. You see, it's one thing to be at a pet rally and be all caught up in what's going to happen. It's good to be in a group where there's safety in numbers, but sometimes you've got to fight some battles all by yeah, yourself. Yeah. Right. Just you and the Lord. All right. You hmm. see... When we go to a, a doctor's office, there's not just one big open room where the doctor examines one person at a time and everybody is looking on and gazing. That just doesn't happen. When you go see the doctor for what ails you, yes, there might be a group in the corporate section. Everybody there for the same purpose, to deal with what ails them. But when it comes time... The, the, the a receptionist or the nurse will call you specifically by name to go back to the examining room. Each of us, even though we're in the waiting room, the corporate place of worship, when we leave here sometime during the week, yeah. the Lord himself is going to call us into the private examining room. All right. Well, pray with me a little while right. I'll be done with it. All right, sir. All right. So we go into the examining room, and that's when we open up and we can be real with God about where we are and what's going on and what happens. And that place for you becomes a place of healing. Yeah. That place for you becomes a place of drawing strength. Right. That place of you becomes a place where you get injected with what it's going to take ah, to make on. you well. That place becomes for you a place of gaining and about what to do to make sure the sickness doesn't come back on you oh, my again. God. Oh, my God. My God. Preach. Now, let me just explain a little bit. Abraham was called away by God yep. from the place where he was. And I saw something for the first time, even though I read it over and over and over again. And when I was going through this scripture, and I, I kept looking at it, and I'm 